Hi everyone, today I want to talk with you about one topic. Uh, the topic will be the coffee journey. Uh, we have coffee in our lives, it has its own place. For somebody it's you know very prominent place. Uh, you know, people who consider themselves as, as uh, coffee professionals or coffee enthusiasts. And everyone has his own, you know, way in coffee these days everybody can remember maybe you know when they tried coffee first time what coffee was that you know the instant coffee in a childhood or something like that and the time when they kind of turned to coffee more more closely to you know to be a professional or to become an enthusiast so as you see here uh, there is a coffee lot robot standard version and there is a super automatic espresso machine um, let me tell you about my journey in coffee you know i i started making coffee just with a regular machine like the drip coffee automatic drip coffee machine and at one time i just wanted to know you know to try what what is espresso and i went to facebook marketplace and i bought a used espresso machine uh, I just I was looking for any machine for a low price because I didn't know I would like espresso or not so I went to Facebook marketplace and I bought a gadget Topazio um, a very old machine but it was, it was work it was working great for its age um, I, I had a basic coffee grinder I didn't know anything so with the trial and error, I went from Gadget Apazio to, for sure, used, I only bought used the machines. I went to uh, Gadget Classic. I bought it for 100 bucks. Can you imagine Gadget Classic for 100 bucks? Um, it was like 200 miles from me, but I went there on my car and I bought that Gadget Classic. I easily, it was used, it was dirty inside. I easily cleaned it and I started using and you know the espresso it's you know with the milk everything tastes best but with you know just a plain espresso it's it's a different thing and um, I started buying the beans from the local roaster I got my like first series grinder it was one zipresso I don't remember which one um, so I started making coffee with that machine and I still didn't like espresso I started to modding that machine I added the PID added the flow control and I still didn't like the espresso I bought a flare pro 2 and I was working from home at that time and I started using flare pro 2 I liked it for some time but you know the workflow you need to preheat uh, to make an espresso, uh, you need to clean, you need to handle this uh, hot group head. Uh, it was okay, and I needed to make milk at that time, so I bought the uh, Bellman, uh, you know, Bellman CXE25, which was making, you know, frothed milk for me, but it was taking some time anyway, it was not that convenient. I sold that machine. And I went to the Lapavoni way. I bought a used Lapavoni. I had I owned 1979, 2003, and like 2021 uh, Stradivari uh, um I like Lapavoni very much. And uh, then I was I was very happy with the Stradivari Lapavoni. I modded it. I added uh, the pressure gauge, and it was great. For me um, I you know I bought I was looking for uh, one dream machine I had a dream machine which is a Bezerra Strega and uh, I was researching the Facebook marketplace the eBay and at one day I saw the Bezerra Strega for sale so Bezerra Strega uh, I messaged that guy he responded right away I went like 50 miles from where I live to 
purchased that machine and I got that machine. Um, it was broken. Uh, it was all scaled inside. Uh, he didn't mention that, but it did match for me. I just fixed that machine, you know, easily cleaned everything. It started working. And I like that machine for for a long time. I mean, for half a year, I used that machine. I like that. And, uh, you know, for my wife, I bought that one, the super automatic machine at that time, because she did, didn't want to use the Strega. Um, it was kind of dangerous or, you know, needed some extra effort to make a coffee, uh, to grind, to do everything. And uh, at some time, at some point, um, when I was changing the grinder, so I used the, at some, at some time, I used the fellow, uh, the, uh, the Orphan Espresso OG. I switched to uh, Orphan Espresso Ferris. I used the Ferris. And uh, at one point I was switching this Ferris to another one and I sold it and I ordered another one. It was taking some time. And, uh, you know, I realized I can live with the super automatic espresso machine for morning, only for morning and for milk drinks. You know, you when you wake up in the morning, uh, you don't really want anything but coffee. You don't want workflow. You don't want to taste this like super special taste of espresso when you mix it with the milk and make a latte or cappuccino. You just want that cappuccino drink. That's it. So I sold my Strega. I sold my dream machine, uh, my liver spring espresso machine. And I bought this one, the coffee lot. You know, the problem problem with the Strega was to make a decent espresso, you needed to wait. Let's say you want to make some espresso and you have to wait 30 minutes or maybe less if you're doing the preheat. But anyway, it didn't fit my life. Because let's say I want espresso, I turn on the machine and I wait. I wait, 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 and maybe at that point of time I no longer can make espresso. I no longer can enjoy espresso at that time. I'm busy, I'm doing something, I have to go somewhere. So I realized espresso is something, you know, it was designed as something quick, as something you can have right away. And that's why I chose the cafe lot. After having all these machines, uh, making a decision to purchase such a simple machine, even you see, there's no even pressure gauge. Um, to have a, you know, to make a decision to buy this simple espresso machine, uh, it's, it should be the big investment <laughs> of your time to switch from something like a Bezerra Strega to this machine. So I realized I can make cappuccino with a super automatic in the morning. I have no issues, no problems with the taste or anything. And frothing milk. And when I want to have espresso, I can have it with a coffee lot robot without any issues, without any inconsistency, without any problem. Just like on Bezerra Strega, like on the La Pavoni, like on a Gadget Classic, like on a Flare Pro 2, like on a Flare 58, but better and quicker. So let me show you how I make an espresso on Cafelot robot. First of all, I start my kettle. Then I want to remove the porta filter from here, remove the shower screen and put everything on a kettle, on top of the kettle to make sure it's hot. If you're using the dark roasted beans, you don't need to have this step, but my beans are like medium roasted. Now I take the hot water and put it right here to preheat the piston a little bit. During this thing, I will grind my coffee. This is a Kino grinder. I like it very much. Take 
the filter basket. Wipe it down. Add in some coffee. Doing the WDT. Put the paper filter on the top. Tamp it. Put the hot porta filter. Just like this. Pour in the hot water inside. espresso so cleaning is very easy you basically clean the livers remove the group head slash porta filter remove the drip tray with something or a cup and you clean it then you just wipe it down and Put your porta filter slash group head back. That's it. So what was the idea of espresso from the beginning? You know, to make quick coffee, espresso, espresso, quickly for many customers at the cafe for sure. And uh, you know, this machine, this coffee maker, it's not even a machine, it's a coffee maker, espresso maker. Uh, it serves this purpose very well. You can make fast coffee, fast espresso, within like five minutes from cold with preheat. If you don't need a preheat, maybe even faster you can make it. So why, why in the world to spend m more money, to spend this, you know, lots of electricity on preheating something like Strega for 30 minutes or I don't know profit tech if you're not using it in commercial setting this machine coffee lot robot is very capable it is if you pair it with a good grinder it will make a you know great espresso for you right away within five minutes you want espresso you do your job and you have it and you have enjoyment of the taste you can play with any parameters here with pre-infusion with the preheating with everything like you played on another machine the orphan espresso is making the great accessories to you know to ease this workflow you can purchase it it is not that expensive if you compare it with the price of the you know regular big espresso machine so this is my choice right now and i don't think i will go from that because like in the morning when you are in a rush you basically push the button on that machine and within again five minutes you have cappuccino with a little bit effort of frothing but that's okay and on this machine anytime anytime you want espresso you push it you you know you start your kettle you boil your kettle you uh, you know push it for 40 or 50 seconds this levers 
and you have a beautiful and delicious espresso. It makes a very great espresso. I probably never tried the best, that good espresso as this machine can make. Look at the time in your life. Look at the uh, what you really want, what, what fits your life, your coffee journey the best and make your choice. And sometimes it may not be the E61 espresso machine or something really expensive or like Lamarzoco. If you're making coffee for yourself or maybe you're the one who's making coffee for your family uh, and you know how to make it the best way. So maybe this one is your choice. This is a very good machine. It can make you a great cup of espresso. And why to spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to have one small delicious drink, one small espresso shot for yourself? You can use Coffee Lot Robot. That's a very good machine. This is my choice. Thank you.